Get ready for some magic. The magic of rounding and estimation. Word problem. We use estimation every day. Think about it. How long does it take for you to get to school? Or is it reasonable to say that there are about a million jelly beans in this picture? Could you imagine a million jelly beans? When we ask if something is reasonable, we are asking, does it make sense? Estimate means to use rounding to make a good guess about the answer to a problem. Let's look at some key words that will help us with our estimation. Approximate, judge, to guess, or let's give a ballpark figure. Let's look at the process in estimation. You must first round the numbers before you solve the problem. You must ask yourself, does the question tell you which place to round? If not, choose the most reasonable place. And last, think of a number line on a hill. Which way will the ball roll? Let us remember, during our estimation process, we will be rounding. Step 1. We must round to the greatest place unless it tells you a place. Example, 345 is rounded to 300. In the number 345, the greatest place is hundreds. I will look in the tens place to help me estimate. The digit is less than five, so the hundreds place remains, and the rest of the digits are zeros. After you have rounded, perform the operations, plus, subtract, or multiply. Example, 345 was rounded to 300, 276 was also rounded to 300, which gave the total of 600. Let us begin to estimate using the word problem. Martin's mother gave him $20 to spend at the store. He bought a book for $3.65 and a candy bar for one dollar and thirty cents. Estimate how much Martin spent in all. We must now decide whether we are going to be adding or subtracting. Using the correct clue word from our word problem, which is in all. In all represents to add. We are now going to set up our number sentences using the prices of the book and the candy. The book, which is $3.65, and the candy bar, which is $1.30. These prices will be rounded to the nearest dollar. We will use the digit with the dollar value. Look at the number right of the right of the decimal point, in this case, it is the number six. It is greater than five, so we can round up to one dollar, changing the other digits to zero. Three 
$3.65 was rounded to $4. $1.30 was rounded to $1. Giving us an estimate of $5 that Martin spent for those items. Let us continue with a new word problem. Thomas scores 6,789 points and Noah scores 3,456 points on the new video game. About how many more points did Thomas score? We are going to decide whether we are adding or subtracting by comparing the numbers and looking for a clue word. In this case, our clue words are many more. Many more represents subtraction. Let us begin by now setting up our number sentence using the numbers in the word problem provided. 6,789 minus 3,456. Remember, unless it tells you a certain place, always round to the largest place. In this case, the largest place in 6,789 and 3,456 is the thousands place. I will look in the digit in the hundreds place to help me estimate. The digit in 6,789 in the hundreds place is the digit 7. 7 is more than 5, so the digit in the thousands place will be rounded up to 7 and the rest of the digits are zeros. In the digits 3456, in the thousands place the digit is the digit 3. In the hundreds place the digit is 4. 4 is less than 5. So in this case, 3 is going to remain the same. However, the rest of the digits are zeros. We have now rounded our points. 7,000 minus 3,000 gives us a difference of 4,000. So we can say that Thomas scored 4,000 points. We have reached the end of our magic show. The magic has ended.